Begin by settling into a posture that feels comfortable for you. Maybe it's sitting in a chair or on a cushion. Maybe it's lying down. Allow yourself to get comfortable. From here, allow your body to relax. If there's any tension that's present in your body, if your muscles are holding tight anywhere in your body, invite them to relax, to loosen, to let go. Relax your body. Allow yourself to settle in to being comfortable and relaxed and to enjoy those qualities in your experience of comfort and relaxation. Savor them in the same way that you would savor the flavors of a delicious meal. Even if these feelings of physical comfort and relaxation are small, really enjoy them. And from here, become aware of your body, taking in what it feels like to be you in your body right now. In particular, becoming aware of the emotional body. The region of our body where we feel emotions usually between the stomach and the face, including the chest and the throat. Notice what that region of your body feels like right now as we embark on this practice period. Take a snapshot of what your emotional body feels like. There's no right answer, no test to pass. Just notice what your body feels like right now. Whatever you notice, whatever you're feeling is completely valid. It just is what you're feeling. So take stock of that, become attuned to your body's experience. You don't necessarily have to put words to it, but it might help to have a sense of the flavor of your emotional experience. Perhaps you're feeling calm or excited or happy, nervous, sad, afraid, angry, hurt, alone.
There's a whole spectrum of emotions. So-called positive emotions and negative emotions, pleasant and unpleasant. Whatever you're experiencing is totally valid, totally fine. But see if you can get a sense of what flavor of emotional experience you're having right now. If you can be aware of that. You don't necessarily need to put words to it, although you certainly can. The idea is just to become attuned to what your experience is right now in your emotional body. If you'd like, if it feels good for you, you can invite a gentle, easy smile to your face. using the body to incline the mind towards happiness. From here, take a moment to reflect on things in your life that you're grateful for. Whatever resonates for you. And tell yourself about these things. Saying a sentence like, I feel grateful for the food that I had to eat today. Or I feel grateful for my friends. Or I feel grateful for the opportunity to practice whatever resonates for you. Tell yourself about what you're grateful for. Very good. Now, bring to mind your easy to love person or animal. Someone that for you is relatively easy to feel love for. Perhaps a pet or small child or close friend or family member. Anyone will do provided that it's 
relatively easy for you to feel love for them. It's not very complicated. Consider who that might be for you and visualize them in your mind's eye, particularly imagining them being happy. And use this visualization as an opportunity to wish them well. To desire that they might be happy. To cultivate an attitude of love and well-wishing. If it's useful, you can use a phrase like, may they be happy, or I love you or something else, perhaps something that's specific to you and your relationship with this person. Feel free to be creative. Whether you use images or talk, the main idea is to cultivate this attitude of love and well-wishing. If you notice any feelings of love in your body, as you bring to mind your easy to love person or animal, notice that and really enjoy those feelings. Really savoring them. Very good. Now, if you'd like, consider a difficult emotion that you might be feeling right now or that you felt recently, perhaps anger or sadness or fear. If you're feeling anything like that right now or have felt one of those feelings recently. 
See if you can get in touch with that. Either the present feeling in your body or the memory of what it was like for you to experience that. We're going to be practicing directing loving kindness towards these difficult emotions. But if that doesn't feel like the best use of your time or that it might be too hard, feel free to stay with your easy to love person or animal or to direct love towards anyone else that you like. It's all good, all valid options. And if it feels alive or interesting or useful, see if you can get in touch with a difficult emotion, either that you're feeling right now or that you felt recently with the memory of that. To begin, see if you can simply witness this difficult emotion, this pain, without trying to change it or push it away. Just taking it in, acknowledging it. It's as if your friend was in front of you and they were crying or hurting in some way. You just take that in to start, not trying to convince them that they're not feeling that or try to ignore them. You'd really witness them in their suffering. See if you can attend to your own pain, either the present emotion or a recent memory in that same way, just witnessing just acknowledging, not trying to change it, not trying to push it away. If that emotion is available to you in your body right now, really feel it. Feel that difficult emotion. Really take it in. It might hurt. It might be uncomfortable. And of course, if it's too hard, you don't have to do this. But if it doesn't feel too hard, see if you can really feel that feeling. Just allowing it, just experiencing it. as you connect to this difficult emotion, really feeling it, really witnessing it. See if it's possible from there to direct love towards that difficult feeling. That same love that you directed towards your easy to love person or animal. See if you can direct that same love 
towards this difficult emotion, either the one that's present for you now or that you recently experienced and are remembering. It's as if your friend were crying or hurting and you went up to give them a hug, to comfort them, to show them that you love them. You can't necessarily take the pain away or change the situation, but you can show yourself that you love yourself. See if you can direct metta towards yourself in this way, towards this difficult emotion you're experiencing or recently experienced. Not trying to change it, not trying to push it away, just loving it. If it helps, you can imagine, using your mind's eye, imagine this emotion as a person or a color and imagine yourself, say, hugging it or comforting it in some other way. Or you can speak to it, saying something like, I love you, I care about you, I'm so sorry you're hurting. Anything that feels like it might comfort this difficult emotion. Or you can simply direct these feelings of love towards the difficult emotions, radiating love towards yourself. Any approach is fine. Just see if you can express love for yourself in a way that feels good for you. Notice if that shifts the emotion in some way. If things change in your emotional landscape as you direct this love towards yourself. If there's any relief, any shift away from suffering towards happiness. Notice that and soak that up. Allow yourself to experience that love, that release. Of course, if for any reason, the way that you're relating to yourself increases your pain, increases your suffering, 
feel free to ease off and try something else. We're not here to make this worse. We're not here to repress the feelings or push them away. Be sure that the way you're relating to yourself is kind and loving, feels helpful. Very good. Now, take a moment to recall what this practice period was like for you. To remember what happened, what your experience was. And to consider whether there are any lessons you might have learned from it. Anything that might be useful to remember and apply in the future. Take a moment to reflect and consider. And as you're ready at your own pace, you can come out of the meditation. 